Hello, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Invoice Ninja. What is Invoice Ninja? It is one of the best invoicing and time tracking softwares for small businesses and also freelancers, as it is beginner friendly and quite easy to use. Amongst that, it also has numerous features. For example, not only can you track your time and create invoice, but you can also set up payments as you can see right here. Now to get started on Invoice Ninja, you can sign up for completely free. All you will need to do is go on to invoiceninja.com. Once you have done that, you could tap on sign up in the top right hand corner. After you have signed up, you will be redirected to this dashboard. And all I want you to do is enter your company name. Then from there, you're going to tap on save. After you have saved it, you can simply close that section right here. And I want you to pay attention to the left hand menu option. So the first thing you're going to see is clients. So you could tap on clients. And from there, you could tap on the plus in the top left hand corner to add a new client. So you'll be able to input a client's name. Also, you can create a VAT number and you can also add their website and phone number as you can see right here. After you have done that, if you would like to add products, you could tap on products. And again, you could tap in the top left hand corner to create a product and you can see new product and you could add the product name, description and also price. And after doing that, if you want to start doing some invoicing, you could tap on invoices and you could tap on the plus in the top left hand corner to create your first invoice. After you have tapped on invoice, the first thing you're going to do is add a client. So this is the billing that you're, or the invoice that you're going to send your client. So you're going to add the client name right here. Then you're going to add the invoice date. Then you would add the due date right here. So all you would do is tap on the calendar icon. Then from there, you could choose the due date, then tap on OK. After you have done that, you can decide whether you would like a partial deposit or a full deposit. Then you'll see the invoice number right here you could add and a PO number. And if you are going to give them a discount, you could select discount percentage. Or if you have a set amount that you would like to discount, you could tap on amount and enter the set amount. After you have done that, all you would need to do now, you could simply tap on send email and you could send the invoice or you could save the invoice and then you can share it on whichever platform you want. Or if you would like to print it, you can do that, print it as a PDF as you can see right here. Or if you would like to schedule when the invoice is sent, you could tap on schedule right there. And also Invoice Ninja is good for setting up recurring invoice. So all you would have to do is tap on recurring invoices from the left hand menu option. And then from there, you could start creating recurring invoice. And it's similar to the original invoice. All you'd have to do is enter the client name. Then at the top, you will see frequency. You could tap right where you see monthly. And then from there, you can select whether you would like it to be every two months, weekly, daily, whichever one of these. You can select any one of these options. After you're finished, you can set up your payment methods. So you'll tap on payments. Then you're going to tap on create in the top left hand corner. After you have done that from here, you can add the client name. You can also add the transaction reference and you can tap right where you see payment type. Then you can select the payment method that you would like to use, whether it is debit, credit card, or cash, or you can also add cryptocurrency, as you can see right there. And you can also create codes using Invoice Ninja by tapping on codes from the left hand menu option, then tap on create. And from there, you could create your first quotation. So you can enter your quotation number, quotation date, valid until, and then you can also enter your footer information if you would like. And you can also add public notes, private notes, as you can see right here. 
you can create a proper quotation using Invoice Ninja. And you can also set up credits if you want. And you can also track your projects. So you can create new projects using Invoice Ninja. And when it comes on to their time management, you could tap on tasks right here. Then you'll tap on create. And again, you're going to enter the client name. Then you'll enter the project and the user. After you have entered the username, from there you can add the task number and you can also add the rate. And after you have added the rate, you can simply enter the start date right here. So all you'll have to do is tap on the calendar to select the start date. Then you'll select the start time. After you have selected the start time, you could select the end time also and you will see the duration. So for example, let's say you are doing some work for a client. You will simply enter the client name, the project that you are doing, your name right here or one of your team members name, the start time and then you will enter the exact start time right here and you can see that it is clocking right here. And once you are finished, all you will simply do is tap on the stop button in the bottom right hand corner. And you will know the exact amount of time to bill your client. And you'll be able to share this with the client right here. So this is a very handy tool. Also, you can set up vendors. So all you would have to do is tap on vendors from the left hand menu option. And you can also set up purchase orders as you can see right here. Expenses, recurring expenses. And you can also track your transactions. And next, let us go into settings. Once in settings, you can add your name again. You can add your ID, VAT number, a website if you have it. And you can also add your email. You can add your address. And if you have a logo, you could add the business logo right here. And you can also see the company details. So you can set up payment settings. As you can see right here, auto bill. And you can scroll down and you can configure gateways. So you could simply tap on configure gateways. Then you could tap on create. And let's say for example we want to use PayPal. We'll tap on PayPal right there. Then you'll simply enter your PayPal information as you can see right here. And you're going to tap on save in the top right hand corner. You can also set up your tax settings by tapping on tax settings. And you can set up your product settings from this section. You can also set up your expense. And if you would like to set up your workflow, you can also do that as you can see right here. So you have numerous setup options. And also if you would like to edit the design of your invoice, you can do that by tapping on invoice design. After you have tapped on invoice design, you can see how the layout normally looks, as you can see right here. So with this, you'll be able to remove or add any section you would like to your invoice. After doing that, if you would like to add any custom fields, you can do that as you can see right here. All you have to do is tap on it and you'll be able to drag it into position. Once you are finished, you'll simply tap on save in the top right hand corner to save the changes and that's it. But at the moment, I'm going to go back to the main dashboard. So let me go back to the main dashboard real quick. So I'll simply tap right here. Then you can also add a company if you want. And to log out, all you'll have to do is tap on the company name, then tap on log out. But to go back to the main dashboard, you'll simply scroll over to the left hand menu option, then tap on dashboard. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.